Blockchain technology has had the hype and the highs, but that has been followed by disappointment. But now people say it is quietly revolutionizing the world of food and drinks. So what is exactly going on? Let's find out. Since its birth in 2008, confusion has reigned over what blockchain actually is. People have needed time to get to grips with what it does. Well, that is if you are interested in the first place. But it is the technology that powers digital currency Bitcoin, much like what the internet is to email. Essentially though, blockchain is a big electronic system on top of which you can build applications and currency is just one. And now the technology has been developed to impact almost every industry. Uh, right now, what we're seeing is a lot of uh, industries, uh, particularly in the retail food safety, anything that requires uh, traceability to ensure the integrity of the product, right, um, have started adopting to this technology. PwC, one of the leading figures in blockchain adoption, has teamed up with blockchain application platform VeChain to help Walmart China supermarkets for food tracking projects, and it's called the Walmart China Blockchain Traceability Platform. We help the supplier of the supermarket to trace uh, from the origin of their agricultural products to logistic and then to the store. So for example, we say VeChain provides the blockchain platform. What does PwC actually do? Yep. Um, actually, uh, VeChain is a uh, public chain uh, platform service provider. So they have they already built, uh, developed a blockchain platform. So uh, if the client using VeChain, they don't need to create a blockchain uh, underlying infrastructure anymore. But still, they need to um, actually build the application uh, on top of the blockchain. Also, uh, regarding the business process, regarding the design of the interface, uh, uh, also uh, the liaison with the distributor and the suppliers. Actually, it requires a lot of more technical uh, expertise to help them to re-engineer the process and to develop the application. So PwC actually is uh, uh, filling this gap, uh, working together with the supermarket as well as to uh, reaching and we build the application and business process we engineer it together. But when we talk about blockchain and food traceability, why is China an important market? Who is specifically important for China, given the agriculture background and context? So what we see in China is that just for the individual small, uh, what we call the, they can be called individual farmers or individual business owners, we have about 200 million, right, compared to you know, US or Europe where it's a lot more consolidated. So in the US you see a lot of big farmers, right? That's actually a corporate, right? Um, so that makes the entire supply chain a lot more complex, right? And hence the traceability is not as strong. And this is an area where um, blockchain really can support. But as China's food and drinks industry becomes more consumer driven, Foreign food companies at the second China International Import Expo see blockchain as vital in selling their products to Chinese consumers. I think for us it gives us complete visibility all the way down to the consumer experience and, and both from a brand point of view, whether we're representing a customer with their brand or some of our brands that we're developing, it allows us to get insight into customer behaviour, customer location, customer contact with our brands and then equally if issues do arise on a trust side, even on a product recall side, we've got complete confidence we can go all the way through to the consumer point and that's essential. For example, our sea cucumber products are caught in one of the remotest parts of uh, New Zealand that's only accessible by a uh, fishing boat. For us, trying to communicate that message to the end consumer is, is really important for us uh, moving forward to, to separate our products from our competitors. But is blockchain the answer to solving food safety concerns from consumers? I think it's part of the whole solution. I wouldn't say there's a solution for all the food safety issues. It's definitely part of it. I think food safety essentially, um, there are many elements, including how to actually process, right? The entire factory setup, standard, etc. But it's definitely the start to food safety. It is driving the standard of process, but it's not perfecting the process. So with blockchain, there's actually nothing wrong with the technology, but finding the right use for it is now the challenge and is desperately seeking a problem to solve. And that might just be food and drinks. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters.